Hello friends, this is the second part of the video series on Emmet in which you are learning how to write your code faster using this plugin into your text editor and since in the last video I have showed you how to download and install this plugin into your favorite text editor in this video I am going to teach you everything about Emmet abbreviations and syntax and their elements and how you can actually generate elements and how to use nesting operators to uh, write your HTML or XML codes okay so first of all let's learn what are exactly abbreviations are abbreviations are some kind of expressions that are passed in runtime in your text editor to produce your desired code and you can also use these abbreviations in your CSS or XML and these abbreviations are based on the CSS syntax which are similar to CSS selector syntax okay and so let's learn about how we can actually generate HTML elements using this plugin okay so let's produce a div tag by using this plugin so I gonna write div here in my text editor in the file index.html so when I write div and go ahead and press tab or hit tab to expand this it's gonna create a div element okay like this for let's create another element by using this uh, plugin let's write header and expand it it's gonna produce header elements what if I go ahead and write here a random name such as Amit that's my name by the way and hit tab to expand it it's gonna produce a myth tag which is neither a HTML tag so why this happening this is because Emmet doesn't come with a predefined bundle of HTML tags you can just go ahead and write anything and it's gonna create a tag for it okay so this is the flexibility of this Emmet plugin okay now let's go ahead and learn about the emit nesting operators okay so first of all we gonna learn about the child operator which is this greater than angle bracket okay so let's see how it works so first of all I gonna go ahead and write a div and and in this div element I want to create a paragraph element so I can just go ahead and write child this is the child operator and it's gonna help us to write our child element which is the paragraph element and as soon as I hit tab it's gonna create this paragraph element here okay so don't try to beautify this syntax here it's not going to work because it the emmet doesn't accept any white spaces into its syntax we don't have to beautify this okay so don't write any white spaces in here to make it work if you do so you're gonna see a different result okay so don't put any white spaces like this and expand it so now we have managed to create a div and inside that div we have a paragraph element so that was created using a child operator which is this one now let's learn about this sibling operator so let's write sibling operator and which is this plus symbol okay it's gonna help us to write our or create two HTML elements at the same level think now I want to create a div element but this time I want to have two paragraphs as a sibling at the same level inside this div okay as a tree structure so what we can do we can use this plus symbol let me increase up some font size to so that you can see it proper um, now let's go ahead and expand it by hitting tab and you're gonna see the results so now we have created a div element now this time it has a two paragraph tags okay so now we have learned about this sibling operator let's see let's combine these sibling and child operators to create something different so this time i'm going to create a div inside that div i'm going to create 
वन पैराग्राफ एलिमेंट वन एंकर टैग एंड वन अनदर डिव इन साइड द डिव ओके एंड लेट्स एक्सपेंड दिस नाउ यू हैव सीन दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ पैराग्राफ टैग एंड एंकर एलिमेंट अ डिव एलिमेंट इन साइड द पेरेंट डिव एलिमेंट and these all are the child elements of this div parent and these are all are siblings which i use created using this sibling operator so as simple as that so now you have learned about the child operator sibling operator and you have you have also seen that how we can actually combine this and again i am saying that don't ever put any white spaces in between this syntax for example div div plus p plus p it's gonna produce a very different result and it doesn't going to work so just remove these white spaces and you gonna write your html code that you want like this okay so the next operator that we gonna learn is our climb up operator so what is a climb up operator the climb up operator is going to help you to jump levels in your element for example if you want to change the context of your element you can use this climb up operator so let's see how it works so for example think i want to create a section element in that section i want to have a figure element and in this figure element i want to create a fig caption oh sorry an image element plus a fig caption and then outside that i want to have a a side tag so how i can produce that i can use this climb up operator okay to jump out of that figure element but but this time we need two climb ups but for now let's use a single climb up operator and see the results okay so you can see that uh well it has worked with a single climb up operator and we have managed to jump outside of this figure element so for example let's write another code which is simple and don't make it we don't make it complex so let's write a section element and just inside that a paragraph element and then just use this climb up operator and create a div now you can uh, see the result like this you you will have a section element inside that section element you will have a paragraph element but the div element that is displayed after this climb up operator is going to shift to the bottom of this section or end of this section tag which is located here uh, like this so let's see the result by expanding it expanding it so now you can see that we have claimed one level up from this section tag okay so what happen if we go ahead and create the same structure like this and write a different code this time we want this a side element to outside this section element so let's do that just write a section inside that section we want a figure element then inside that i have one img tag plus a fig caption and then we have a single climb up operator and it's gonna jump just one level okay so it's gonna create the same result but this time i want this a side tag to be next element of this section element or sibling of this section element to achieve that i can just go ahead and put here another climb up operator and it will help us to jump outside of this section element too okay so now you can see the results here now this time this side tag is created after that section element now we going to learn about our next emet operator which is very interesting and going to amaze you it's multiplication operator and it's going to make your work much much faster than ever so now let's learn about multiplication operator so 
this is going to help you to repeat your elements the desired number of times so it's very useful to have think i want to create a div element and inside that i want to create seven paragraphs so i cannot write like this p plus p plus p so it's kind of time waste and inefficient so what we can do we can actually use our multiplication operator like this see we can just go ahead and create a child element paragraph of div and just go ahead and put the desired numbers you want to produce for example i can write six to produce six paragraphs inside that div and it's gonna produce the same results as you can see that here uh, there are five paragraphs i think and there's are six paragraphs but this is created using sibling operator and but this is created using multiplication operator so we can write our tags any desired number of times by using this multiplication operator so we can let's see how you can produce an another list by using this multiplication operator and combining our child operator so let's go ahead and write ul and inside that ul tag let's create an li tag and let's write our multiplication operator put the desired number of times and just go ahead and this time let's write again a child operator and write some text here uh, let's write laura just a dummy text and we gonna see uh, this an order list okay like this so we have managed to create and generate our an order list by the help of this multiplication operator and it's kind of lots of time saving for us so friends now we have one more operator left which is grouping operator so let's see how it looks like let's comment it here these are two parentheses which we call grouping operator inside emit so let's see how we can use this operator basically grouping operator is used to group to group subtrees inside a complex abbreviations so i am going to show you a very simple example to illustrate how we can use our grouping operator okay so let's see here i'm gonna write a section element and inside this section element we will have a figure element and this figure element will contain three things a fig caption an image and a span tag so let's write first tag is our image element the second one is our fig caption and the third one is our another element let's say span okay and then we want to have an aside tag inside this section tag so now we can just go ahead and write aside and for sidebar and now you can see that we have used our grouping operator to create this simple layout structure okay so we will have a figure then an a sidebar related to this figure element okay so now let's see how we can create a table using this grouping operator so let's write a table tag and then inside that table tag let's create a row for our heading so let's create tr and this tr will contain three heading tags so let's th create th and multiply by three so that we can create a table with a row of three headings like this and table headings and now let's go ahead and create a, another row for the table data so let's create this sibling operator and then another row and inside that row let's group our table data by writing td and let's again multiply it by three and now we can see that we have created our complex table within just a single line of code now let's say i want to create four rows for our table data so what we can do that we can undo here and just go ahead and use our multiply multiply operator here and put four so that we can have 
four table rows. So this is really really fast way to create a table by using simple operators. So guys if you like this video please hit like to this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed yet and thank you very much for watching this video bye bye take care